Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In this video, I'm going to show you how a project is set up in a Revit BIM environment for workflow and collaboration. So without any delays, let's get started with the video. First thing you have to note that this process is done only after the first BIM initiation and BIM execution plans are sorted out, all the workflow have been decided, how many consultants will be there and all these things are decided, then this process is done. Then the project folders are set up. And now let's go ahead and set up the projects. Okay guys, I have my Revit open over here and you can see the home page. You can see the home page. This should look the same anywhere you go, whatever version you use. So here what we will do, um, let me tell you first one thing that any company you will be working for, they will set up templates for you for different fragments that you will be using. I'll show you what are fragments and templates. So here you will go to open. If you are working in a company, you will just go to open or you will create a new project by going here, selecting architecture template and then starting the project. But here what I'm going to do is probably just giving you an example. Like if I'm a, on a company environment, I'll be just going here. I'll go to the company templates and then select one of the project. Uh, sorry, actually these are these are the fragments that I was talking to you about. These are different fragments that you, you will have to create this for each and every project. But some project might not need some of these. But uh, most of the time you will need all the fragments and you will have to resave it as a central model. Now, just open the first one as what is your site. So you have opened it. Now go to your save as you can go here and you can save as in your company architecture server i have named this project as project xyz i'll just click on this and name rename it as project xyz and remove the template because we are creating a project now this is not a template anymore and click save so I have saved it as a different project now. And now I will go to collaborate, click on collaboration and then collaborate. Here it will ask you, okay, what do you want to do? You want to collaborate in cloud? Right now I don't have access to BIM 360 cloud. So I will do it in within my network. This is for people working in a company on a central server. And for example, I have like all my other departments that will have the access to this specific project and they can work through work sets. Now I will click on within your network and click OK. It will process and then you will have to save this project. And now it will give you a warning, not a warning. It will just give you a notification that this is the first time that the project has been saved since work sharing was enabled. This project will therefore become a central model. Do you want to save this project as a central model? You click yes. Now this has become a central model. Close out of this project. And now open the other template. Again, go to your company templates, then select your shell, open. Shell is basically used site you might know. So inside you will have your survey drawing and you will prepare your site. And this is your shell. Shell is majorly used for all the exterior elements, your exterior walls, all the details that comes into exterior, the parking lots and all those things are done over here. Parking lots are usually put into shell as well, some uh, site as well sometimes, but uh, it can be done in shell as well. So again, you will repeat the similar process. You will go on save as, go to the project architecture server, click here, then change the name project XYZ. XYZ. 
XYZ and remove the template. Here you can't see that it is a central model but mostly you can save it directly from here as well but first let's save it so now you have saved this go on collaborate click collaborate and now within your network so this will make it as a central file but first you have to save it and this similar thing has to be done for all the fragments that i showed you over there now let's just skip that and I will show you the next step, how to link these projects together and how to open a central model. So guys, here you can see that I have a lot of central models over here. And now I will show you how to open a central model and then link them to each other and how to use the central model and save it. So here you can see all the folders are here. Now I will go to my project again. I won't click anything from here these are all central models you can see this symbol this this shows that it is a central model but you never never open anything from here i'm telling you so anyways open go to your project now here see create a new local it will be visible so always check that you are working in a central model or not if you are not working on a central model this will be grayed out for example i will show you over here uh, in template if you go see everything is grayed out so be careful about this always open it through going to open option then just select one of the project let's start with the site again so now I'm not directly working on the central model. Anyone can open and start working on that itself. But here I am creating a new local copy and this local copy is open right now. So what I will do, site is usually linked with the shell and nothing else. So what I will do over here is go into my insert option over here and then click on manage link. Here you will have the option to add so this is Revit. So this is clicked and I will add. Now shell, I want to add the shell into this. So now your shell model is linked to your site and then click OK. So this one step is done over here and then click save or you can sing synchronize synchronize to central is important because if you have saved this project it will be saved on your local drive and nothing has been saved to the central model so you have to always sync after doing this process so you go ahead and sync this thing is done now and here it will give you an option while closing this relinquish all element and works at so you have to always click on relinquish all elements because if someone else from your company opens this model he won't be able to make any changes until and unless you give them the access to and now open next one go to for example shell shell to make a shell model you should have site onto it so what i what we will do over here is again go on insert manage links add link then I will select site and open. So just click close on this. And now you have it over here as well. Click OK. Then you can save it locally and then synchronize to central. Now this is linked to your site. Close this out. Relinquish all work set. And do the similar process for all the other as well. So this is how your first step will be completed of linking all the elements to it. So now here I will go again open in structure. Mostly you need to see the site and the shell both together. So what I will do is go on insert manage links add. Then I will select shell open and this is this will keep coming so close it and do okay sorry i had to add one more here i will go 
and then site select this will come again okay and now synchronize and then close out of the project so now all these files are linked together for example again if you go and open shell yes and you create a basic wall type and synchronize it and then open your shell so as you can see here it is already saying that linked revit model project xyz arch shell so you can see your shell model here in your site as well and similarly when you will make something on site for example i'll create a floor here i go and create a floor i'm just giving this and making this for your reference and nothing else so it looks something like this then i will go and synchronize again never forget to synchronize or else you won't be seeing anything in your shell or structure or anything so go ahead synchronize close and then open and now you can open your shell model overwrite it see here it will show again linked revit model xyz site so here this is your site and this is your shell so this is how a workflow collaboration is done how a central model is made and how the initiation of bim projects are done there are a lot of things don't give me beatings if anyone is coming from the bim industry don't give me beatings on that i'm just showing the overview of bim project setup so this is how it is done in the initial very basic process a lot of things will come up like you have to set up view templates you have to set up line styles you have to set up object styles how to set up work sets so all these things i will be covering up in my new tutorials so stay tuned and if you like this video if you like what i do and how i do my videos please go ahead hit a like and subscribe and do comment in the comment section that should i keep making this should i make some improvements or should i do something else please your reviews your suggestions matters to me so yeah go ahead hit the like and subscribe to my channel take care of yourself and i'll see you soon bye bye